Hello friends, this is Vibhur here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will tell you everything that is important and you should know about while you are using a new hard drive with your Mac for the very first time or erasing an older drive to use it with your Mac. Now for this process, I will be using my external one terabyte hard drive, uh, the Seagate one, but this will work for any hard drive, SSD, thumb drive or anything that you connect to your Mac. Now before starting this process, make sure that your hard drive is connected to your system and any other drive is definitely disconnected. So you, we do not want to touch any other drive rather than the hard drive that you are trying to format for the very first time. Now to start the process, head over to the launchpad and launch your disk utility software. Make sure all other drives are disconnected from the system and you have just one drive. Right now I have my Seagate drive connected, which is one terabyte. And if you can see, this is an MS-DOS partition which means that this will not work with the mac operating system now to erase this drive click on the drive click on the erase button over here you would you can select the format and the name of the drive now if you do not see all the options over here in my case i cannot actually see that you got to click on the drive click on the view button on the left side and show and click on show all devices this is going to show actually the devices uh, in which the drives have been created click on the topmost hierarchy of your drive then click on erase here you will be able to see the entire scheme now this is where the entire magic happens in the mac operating system we got to select these options very carefully and i'm going to tell you exactly what all options mean over here if you select the format option which will give you the format of the drive still you might not have all the options available over here, over here you need to change the scheme change the scheme to guid partition map which is actually the new partition map of the apple operating system once you select that you'll have the entire uh, series of uh, the apple formats and the mac formats uh, which you can select while creating the partition now here you can select the drive partition as apfs mac os extended and ms tos options now where APFS and Mac OS generalized is only for Mac systems, FAT file system will work with Windows based machines. APFS is the Apple's new file format which is available for systems having high Sierra or later. So definitely you need a Mac OS 10.13 and above to actually select the APFS file system. Now APFS file system is better for encryption setup and is more disaster recoverable. But the downside is that this uh, will work better with non-moving drives. So your SSDs, your thumb drives, which does not have the moving spindle parts, that works better with the APFS system. But in case of an external drive, you are not supposed to use the APFS file system. FAT file system, which is the MS-DOS based file system, that's the very old file system for the Windows based systems. Now, the problem with this is uh, that because this is a very old and antique file system i am not sure why they still have that over here as an option this has a, a hard limit of a file size of 4 gigabytes so any file which is more than 4 gb you cannot move into the drive uh, if you have fat as a file system for the drive so i would definitely not recommend ms dos fat as an option over here now, now if you want this drive to work on your mac as well as on your uh, windows based machine XFAT is the way to go. Through XFAT partition, you can use this drive in the most versatile manner, and this will be able to work on Mac as well as Windows based machines. Now, the only downside to that is if you want to use any proprietary Apple's products like Apple Photos, if you want to put them into uh, the external drive, or you want to use your external drive as a time machine backup, you cannot use a fat based or an XFS fat based system for that you would definitely need an apple file system so i'm going to create an apple file system on this drive now because this this is an external drive and it has got a spinning head i would not be using apfs i would be going with mac os extended journalized option now even over here you will find that there is an option of having a case sensitive or an encrypted uh, format for the Mac OS extended journalized. Now the difference between that is if you select a case sensitive option, you can actually have a, a drive in which all the files are going to be case sensitive. So in a particular folder, you can have two files with the same file name 
I can have a file name with a capital letter and the another file name with the same name with a smaller letter. I definitely don't need that. So I'll go with the Mac OS extended journalist option as the standard option for my drive. Once this all completes, you'll have your file system mounted and you can use that on your Mac operating system. So it has been done. We have got a Seagate drive. The master boot record has been written. If I go inside the drive, I can see that it is Mac OS journalized uh, 999 GB. So this drive is ready and can be used with your Mac operating system. So guys, that was the simple way through which you can format your drive, any external drive uh to use with your mac operating system just keep in mind uh, while creating the drive format uh, if you want to use it with mac uh, just select apfs or the mac os journalized if you want to use with mac as well as windows go with an xfat format i hope you like this video guys i constantly make videos about mac and windows and how to work on different operating systems i also make videos about youtube and productivity if these are the topics you like please consider subscribing and if you got anything out from this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you again in my next video. See ya.